well, it reaches a point. It reaches a point as a person, and you just just want one word. Just want God. Just to say one word. That's enough. Because you know, one word that is coming from our heavenly Father can turn around everything. Turn around your life. May God release that one word into your life today. And our word of today comes from the book of Exodus. And guys, Exodus chapter 33. Let me tell you, when God told Moses, when God told Moses, I want you to take the children of Israel, mtoke wilderness, muishie promised land, the land that I had promised your forefather, that is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses was like, no, we are not going. Unless you go with us, God, Z, I, I always make a twishi anywhere, unless we in a sisi. And you can read that in Exodus chapter 3. 33 that is verse 15 and 16 which says then he said to him if your presence does not go with us do not bring us up from here for how then will it be known that your people and I have found grace in your sight other version says have found favor in your sight except you go with us so we shall be, so we shall be separate your people and I from all the people who are upon the face of the earth Moses acknowledged that Nikienda peke angu, tukienda sisi tu, tu, tuende hii promised land kanan. Tutenda, yes, but you know what? If we cannot go with God, there will be no difference between us and these people that we are going to meet on the way. We, if we do not have the presence of God going wherever we are going, we, people cannot differentiate between us and the people of God because we are the children of God. So there is no way to nishe a promised land bila presence of God because when the presence of God dwells with you, I'm telling you, my people, when the presence of God shuka, in a shuka ikwena wewe, there is favor, there is that distinction, you know. Kuna ile utofauti kati yako na ule jamaa wa kawaida. Kuna tofauti yako, kuzi watu watu kuna favor ya mungu juu yako. Kuna presence ya God juu yako. Kuna prosperity, kuna grace, kuna, kuna una prosper. There is rest in the presence of God. Moses knew that. That's why he insisted, God, unless you go with us, Zi, walai, wacha tutu ubaki hapa in wilderness. It's better we just die in this wilderness and kuliko tuende bila wewe. So Moses was really persistent and insisted that God go with us. Because when we go with us, the people who will meet us along the way, same, ay, enye kuna tofauti ya watu. Kuna mungu dani yao. Kuna mungu dani yao. Kuna miujiza ya mungu. Kuna favor ya mungu uji yao. Kuna masi ya mungu uji yao. So Moses really insisted that God go with us. And God said, you know what, I'm going with you. I'm going with you. And you know, because that the presence of God, to me, the presence of God is favor, there's mercy, there's, pres there's rest, and there's, you prosper, there's grace, there's, there's love, so much love. And that's what people can differentiate between you and, and, and anyone else who is a non-believer, the presence of God. If there's anything you'll ever ask God today, his presence, and you'll see the difference in your life. And you know, we, when we look at different people in the Bible, when you are Letitia presence here, God, who, 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 is in, whose presence of God was with them, Kiangalia Joseph, Joseph in slavery, you know, Joseph in Egypt, Joseph in Potiphar's house, Joseph in, in prison, Joseph in the palace. Any the difference between him and the Egyptians was the presence of God. Because when the presence of God was with Joseph, Ulkun on a prosper too. He, now he has been made Sidri head of Potiphar's house. Sidri now he's the head of prison. Now he's the prince of Egypt because of presence of God. Now the favor of God was with him. Another person was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. In the furnace of fire, katia moto. In fact, hawa wako chomeka, watu wenye waliwatupa ndani ya moto, hawa ndo walichomeka. Because of the presence of God. Is there anything that you can ever ask God today? Is his presence. Because when his presence is with you, uki watu shule unakupatanga ko favor. You are excelling in your studies because of the presence of God. You know, when your business prosper and everything good comes with you because of the presence of God. If there's anything you'll ever ask today from God, presence. After presence, everything else will follow. His presence. Because at his presence also, you can hear him speak. Instruction, love, you know what? The presence of God is everything that you can ever ask for. We, I will leave it at that.